Hi. And welcome to the Wild Watch Daily Roundup. We've had a fantastic few days here in Kent, so let's kick things off with an update into our big f***ing bird hunt. We have had an excellent response to our big f***ing bird hunt with people sending in their pictures of big f***ing birds from all over the country. So let's take a look at today's big f***ing bird. That really is a big f***ing bird. What do you think, Kate? Well, f*** me sideways, that is one of the biggest f***ing birds I have ever seen. Do you think it could be a c*** hammer? Uh, no, I think it looks more like a sh hawk. talk. Uh, well, I'm not a betting man, but I'd say that's either a <laughs> Harvey Wallbanger <laughs> Tiananmen Square <laughs> Wrangler, or maybe just a massive shag. Oh, um, Chris, I'm just getting some news from our producer. Apparently, our beeping machine wasn't working uh, exactly right during that link. I do hope none of that sounded very rude. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Now, if you were watching yesterday, you may remember that we have attached a tiny camera to one of our sparrows. And the footage has just come back, so let's see what she's been up to. Ooh! Ouch! Well, we've had plenty of updates from our static cameras as well. Now, we were expecting to see a fox or maybe even a badger, but... Oh, wait. What's that we found, Kate? Oh, well, that looks to me like the ancient Roman orator Cicero. Yes, I think you're right, Kate. At first I thought it could be a Dennis Thatcher, but looking at the plumage on the toga, that's, that's definitely a Cicero, obviously migrating out of the classical period to escape the cold. And, oh, look. It looks like he's about to fledge. Oh, well, I've <laughs> never seen one of those before. Mm. Now, I'm afraid that we have some rather sad news about Robbie the Robin. Viewers may remember that earlier in the week we thought that he was getting over the mysterious illness he's been suffering with, but unfortunately earlier today, Robbie exploded. And we were lucky enough to catch that on camera! Earlier today I went out and about with our resident forager and food expert, Tiger Ovens. So Tiger. What are we out looking for today? Well, today, Chris, I want to show you one of the more uh, inconspicuous dangers that threatens the modern British forager. It's called Anethum perilous, but you and me will probably know it better as suicide dill. Suicide dill? That's right. It's found in uh, hedgerows and in uh, ditches, and it's responsible for over 300 deaths a year in the United Kingdom and Thanet. Um, I've got some here, uh -huh. along with, of course, the more common garden variety dill. I'm sure mm. you'll recognise that. Um, as you can see, they are quite similar. Yes, they are very similar. Well, that's exactly the kind of thinking that is going to get you in trouble, Chris, because just the tiniest bite of this one here will kill a grown man in under a second. Blimey. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, you see, it's all about uh, identification with uh, mm -hmm. when you're dealing with dill. Now, if you look on the, uh, the safe dill, the, uh, the garden one, just here on the upper lower optimus, you'll see that is a perfect British racing green just there, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes, it's magnificent. Yes. Lovely. But if we look on the exact same part of the, uh, the suicide dill, just there, you'll see a perfect representation of the late British Prime Minister Clement Attlee. Oh, uh, yes, I see. Yes. There's Clement, yeah. just there. Give us a wink. So that is your rule of thumb for this one. Remember that this one, deadly. This one, delicious. Oh, well, <laughs> let's hope that Tiger's feeling better soon. No, he's dead. Oh, hang on, Chris. I'm, I'm just getting something from our static team. Oh, and it's sad news about Cicero. Right. Well, there's just enough time to show a few of your pointless photographs in the hope of instilling a feeling that the BBC really does give a shit about what you do with your wretched little lives. So first up, we've got a wonderful sighting of a giant otter in Margate. <laughs> And this picture from Hazel in London shows that those urban foxes have been up to their usual mischief. <laughs> and finally, following the recent flooding in Wales, Griff from Newport has sent us this view from his kitchen window. Oh, bollocks. Well, that's all for today. Join us again tomorrow for more news and antics from Mother Nature's leaky bosom. And in the meantime, it's sad news about you, Kate. <laughs> Good night!